Digifort has a very powerful alarming notification in, in the surveillance client. We use pop-ups to notify the operator uh, on events. So any event uh, in the system can trigger pop-ups uh, to the operator uh, machines. And these are the actions. If you want to know more about the actions, please watch the video about uh, the event actions. But for this example, this, this event will trigger a pop-up on the operator machine and will show camera 40. Now, we can also configure the receivers, so who is, gonna, who is actually going to receive the alarm. If nobody is configured here, everybody that's connected to the system will receive the pop-up. So, I'll trigger the, this event, and I have now an alarm pop-up here on my screen. If I have another event, I'll have another pop-up screen, with, but this one I have a little bit more information. We can also request the operator to type some notification that he received and processed the alarm. So for example this test one. Now I can only close the alarm if I fill in the observation. Okay, alarm uh, acknowledged. Very easy to configure. Now, in the surveillance client, you can configure the arrangement of the alarm screens. As you can see, having multiple pop-ups uh, popping up just in the center of the screen might not be very useful. So, you can actually configure here to auto-arrange the pop-up screens. I just got an event, that, that event is, uh, is from the, our face recognition system integrated with Digifort. But I will select, um, when you auto range the alarm screens, you can select the monitor um, and the total alarms per monitor. So let's say you have um, a station with four monitors. You can actually make a queue of of alarms across all monitors. So let's configure monitor one. So I, I will select monitor one and this monitor can have a total of four alarms. This is, is an auto or I can do a fixed position. Uh, for example, like these, I want the first alarm to be like that. And the second alarm will be a little bit uh, Closer, a little bit uh, smaller. I think that this might be too much. I'll do a three by three. So first alarm will be we cover this area, and the second alarm will be uh, these. And when the seventh alarm comes in, then the system will forward that alarm to the second monitor. If you have configured the second monitor uh, to, for example, have up to four alarms, then yeah, this workstation doesn't have. Uh, that monitor but if you're working with, with a workstation with two or more monitors you can configure a layout of alarm screens uh, on each monitor okay let's trigger the alarm again now that alarm is at this position and if I have a second alarm now the second alarm Actually, the second alarm has taken the position of the first alarm here, and the first alarm was sent to the secondary position. Because you can have the order of alarms here. New alarm first or new alarm last. Okay, so if I select new alarm last, now the second alarm uh, has taken uh, that, that happened is on the second position. If I close the first alarm, now the second alarm will take place of the first and so on. So you can manage different types of alarms and notifications uh, in a very easy way. Um, you can have a, a, a monitor, uh, you can have alarms across different monitors. So it's very flexible way of working with alarms. You can also configure the system to auto close the notification screen 
For example, the alarm will be on, will be on the screen for only five seconds. And I can uh, cancel uh, closing if the user has moved the alarm. And I'll explain what this is. So I can trigger the alarm. Now, this alarm is going to close in eight seconds. Now I have my second alarm. And that second alarm will close in eight seconds. So closing one, now that alarm closed. And the second alarm will close in three, two, one, uh, closed. But I can have that alarm and that other alarm. And if I pull the screen, now this screen will not close anymore while the second screen will close. Done. 